What's the difference in being saved from hell and saving one's life? Well, we're going to find out in this episode 29 of Salvation and Discipleship. If you've got your study guide, go ahead and look at topic number 29. You'll notice under salvation it says saved from hell, and under discipleship it says saving the life. So let's look at the verses associated with those two. The first verse we're going to look at is Ephesians 2, 8, and 9. Let's see what that has to say. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourself. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. So, what that tells us is that salvation, which is being saved from hell, comes by faith alone. It's a gift of God, and it is not by works. We've talked about that so many times through this series, I probably don't even have to go over it again. But here's what it means. For those who believe in Jesus for everlasting life, they have that gift, and they can never lose it. But what you'll notice through Scripture is that there are other places that mention things like saving your life. Let's take a look at Matthew 16, verse 24 through 27 to see what Jesus has to say about that. Then Jesus said to his disciples. Now, that's going to be very important. We need to know who the audience is. Okay, so let me just read that again. Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. It's really important that we understand this is not talking about eternal salvation. And instead, it's talking about the rewards that come for those who are willing to make sacrifices. So, just imagine this scene. Jesus is talking to the young men who have decided to follow him. And he tells them that they need to deny themselves and take up their cross. Now, to us, that sounds like religious talk. But to them, the cross was an implement of death. It would be like me saying, you need to prepare to sit in your electric chair. Or you need to be ready to take the lethal injection. So what Jesus is telling them is, get comfortable with the idea that this thing might lead to your death. And in fact, for the young men that he was talking to, in each of their case, it did lead to death. And so what he's saying is, this whole thing where you're going to go out and you're going to talk about me to the world, you're going to die for it. But those of you that decide that you'd rather save your life, the physical life, then you're going to lose something that is as valuable as your life. But for those of you who are willing to lose your physical life, you're going to gain something so much greater. Those who are willing to lose their life for his sake, they're going to find it. And what that means is their experience in the kingdom of heaven is going to be so awesome because they were willing to stay faithful even unto death. Well, if you want to go deeper on this topic, I'd encourage you to take a look at my book, Salvation and Discipleship. Also, go to simplybelief.com grow to get plugged in. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.